Oh, found some dead shit. Damn it! <laughs> Says he got my bells so jingling. Sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Varen. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? Oh shit. Yeah, it's what is a It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. Ben Vibin, brother? My man. I love to hear it. Love to hear it, love to see my it. Mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. Some kind of plant being? Old, thousands of years even. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Damn. These little guys are fast. They swarmed right in on me. Good thing. Oh, no. No! I cannot believe I let my girlfriend go down like that. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files! Oh, dude. No, I don't want to review protocol. You don't? I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption, or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. <laughs> Dude. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Right, all that planning just to take it to the dome? No doubt. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zeus Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. 
Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Yo, is that why they were acting strange back at the camp? Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. Should we inform your pilot? Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. V.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site Oh, it's going to be that one dickhead. Directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. That's enough for now. Going to standby mode. Alrighty. I think we just uh, press onward. Onwards and upwards. Kill everything on the way. It's coming from the ship. We need a way to give it a kick. Let's check the other claws. Damn things can't be perfect. That's what I like, Rex. That's what I like about Rex. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible to set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. That's right, Rex. We're here to kill them. We're here to kill them, not learn their customs. Thanks, Rex. Appreciate you. Heal. Oh, you can see the white bar. Those Krogan are fucking sturdy, dude. Hey, that guy's. Uh, let's see what we got here. Download data. No. That's just silly. I fear we do not have. What a fictitious concept. This claw. We will have to keep looking. Some sort of containment lab. 
Sit. Damn. I ain't gonna make it. Private log of Dr. Gamoral. I don't trust this Cerberus group. They may pay us well, but if this gets out before we've developed an antidote, it's just not smart. They will tell us what they want for the samples for or why they wanted them to be delivered to the Matano system. My records show nothing of interest out there. So the Cerberus group that we fucked up last time is involved in this somehow, but they were like, they were doing all kinds of testing and stuff like that when they were there and they're trying to uh, make like a new bio soldier you find a repair ticket attached to the console this the damn door to the shuttle bay is fried again works fine if the psi is 30 or lower and the safety shutoff kicks in with the psi gets above 34 but if the psi is in 31 to 34 zone the door slams down with enough power to shear through a metal i-beam someone fix this before one of my team loses an arm in that thing okay Works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower, and the safety shutoff kicks in if it gets above 34. So, if it's between 31... Okay, it needs to be below 30. Oh, shit. Math! 5 and 7 is 12. 13. Well, 13 plus 17 is... normal pressure or wait no we want it to be higher we want it to be in that range silly me that was kind of fucking sick Suck it. Well done. Our way out should be clear now. We can go address this Thorian issue. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth and end things off with a huge crash. Right? I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. I always wanted to fly to explore endless space in the universe, and if Marvel doesn't lie and the multiverse really exists, then that would be ideal. Hello. And quite. That would be fucking badass, wouldn't it? I really do hope we get some kind of just like regular space travel in our lifetimes. Fuck, that'd be fucking cool. How you doing, Joker? What an intro, by the way. Hell of a way to introduce yourself. Is that you, Joker? What's what going up, on queen? over there? We're in My boy? Here, Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. All right, people, you know the drill. Let's move out. I probably gave them the wrong command, I feel like. He did not like the, uh, oh, okay. Probably should have told him to protect the ships at all costs, but, uh. Okay, yes, this way, I think. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. 
You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy of course they fucking were. In. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. And a girl. Okay, so we made it out of here. Gotta go get back on the Mako, I think. Maybe. And uh, tell your friends. Toss us up. We Is also really appreciate that. Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio! What was that all about? That fucking guy. This is Juliana Bain of a Pharaoh's colony. Please help us. That's my mom! Stop! Stop the rover! You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. Yeah, fuck I this guy. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coups. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The On Thorian. sight. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Yeah, think of the promotional opportunities. opportunities. What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try. But I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure well, un so that's the one time that uh, speech didn't work out for me. It looks like uh, old boy gets to live with being a dickbag. I'm glad you decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Or a bullet. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopine, a neuromuscular degenerator. If the <laughs> Queen of a bullet. Weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll clear up a bunch of space. Quip your grenades. Give us guys porn back. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. 
Thanks again. Thanks, bro. Oh yeah, I need to uh, equip the grenade. I feel like this is gonna make it extra complicated. What are you? Yo, what the fuck? Is it Ian? No amount of infection could have altered a human to that extent. I wonder what is going on here. Do we leave the colonists or wipe everything out? Son of a bitch. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. As you order, Commander Shepard. I literally said not to shoot them. Unless those aren't the colonists. Oh, I just waste all my grenades on those. It's gonna be tough. Not really. How did one die? One of them died somehow, I guess. I don't know. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. Supposed to be their leader. These people trust me. It wants me to stop you, but I. Oh no, what's he gonna do? I won't! God damn. Homie, I could have just subdued you. A little extra, a little too far too quick. Something tells me there's about to be a universe altering decision coming up. It's about to be wild. All right, we just need to find this creature and determine what, what it, that is disturbing. We are going to need bigger guns. Is it going to attempt to communicate or is it about to be like a crazy boss fight? It's Cthulhu. It's 
it's literally Cthulhu. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood oh, okay. will the ground in new growth. Sit. What, you thought you could just like stab to me, dude? So we're just gonna run up. Yeah, sit the fuck down, a sorry clone lady. You ain't shit. Well, you wanna you wanna discuss some new things now, or what? Or did it just glitch? Want to talk more? Commander Shepard, there is something here. A growth of some kind. I'm so confused. Oh, it was up top. <laughs> she just got sat down. Sit. <laughs> this guy's just chilling. Pooping. You trying to take a poop? So, this is wild, dude. I can't even like. Li I literally can't even fathom coming across some Cthulhu plant beast. Yeah, I know. I know. I got lots of items. One hit. <laughs> he says I need another space suit. Correct. Correct. I think I would also be in need of another one. I mean, statistically, there is something out there like that, right? Statistically, something like that probably exists in the vast expanse of the universe. How's it feel to know that you live in a universe where this thing probably exists Sit down. <laughs> I 
Don't peek corners. Is there like an op, like maybe I fucked up and didn't choose some dialogue correctly? But I wonder if there was an option to not kill the Thorian. Kind of like railroaded D into it, didn't it? Well, I chose the good option. So there's probably like a bad option. Shit, are they, huh? I am strong. And now that I have like that max, uh, the commander thing, my assassination lasts a long time. Or not lasts a long time, but re recovers really fast. They're all look like they're trying to take the worst dump. Toast, boss fight completed. It will fall into the depths of the planet. It like could have listened to me though, right? Ugh. I'm free. I, I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. You unlocked completionist? I wonder what that is. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be. Rex looked at me like, are you seriously asking the thing that came out of the pot I if it's okay? I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. I came to this world in search of the Thorian. Saren needed its knowledge and he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Oh, I just completed all over the game. Then why were the Geth trying to destroy the Thorian? After Saren had what he needed, the Thorian became a liability. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. 
To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. Convenient. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, oh, okay. deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Bro, we're about to trip Reach out. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. Thank <laughs> you.